so in this video i'm going to give you a brief use case about how or when can we use ansible and there are many use cases but this is one of the most common ways most people use ansible so here we have the non ansible way so we have a user and the, or an admin and the admin is maintaining four servers the three servers on the top are web servers and one of the server is a database so if an admin wants to install tomcat then the admin will have to install tomcat on server one then install tomcat on server two and install tomcat on server three and then install mysql on the database server so basically the admin has to repeat all the steps again and the chances are he can make or he or she can make a mistake and the servers may not look same so there comes ansible or any other tool which makes life easier and we'll see how so this is what happens with ansible so here the admin instead of issuing commands to the servers individually will issue a command to one machine and that machine will communicate with the other machines so admin can just issue one command say install tomcat on all the web servers and then the, this machine will actually go ahead and install tomcat on the other machines in our infrastructure and then the admin can say issue a command called some command which says install mysql and then the machine will go ahead and install mysql on the database server so here the task of admin is reduced uh, the admin doesn't have to maintain multiple machines now imagine a case if a company has 40 web servers which is absolutely possible these days uh, and you don't have to like install tomcat on all 40 machines but you just have to issue a command once and then let ansible do the rest for you for that ansible uses two major files um, uh, to begin with there is an inventory file and there is a playbook so inventory file as the name suggests contains an inventory list basically the inventory file as you can see in the in this file consists of a group or a label and then ip addresses so basically under web server it contains all the ip addresses or dns names of the web servers that the infrastructure uses and then there is a group for database servers which contains the list of database servers now this web server database server you can give any name you want it doesn't matter uh, as long as you remember what name you have given so in that way we have grouped our web servers and database servers so then using this uh, inventory file we can issue commands saying okay now install tomcat on the web server so ansible will look uh, in this inventory file and look at the web server ip addresses and then issue commands to those particular servers only and there are multiple ways to configure this file you can have patterns and stuff like that but to keep it simple this is how it looks so now let's look at playbook now over here we are just going through a brief overview and we are going to see in detail later on how everything works and how to create our own inventory file and playbooks and stuff like that so now let's take a look at playbook so so a playbook consists of multiple plays and each play consists of tasks so here we have a sample playbook now you don't have to understand what's going on over here this is just to give you a general idea over here you can see that the playbook is in yaml format um, and we are going to have a brief tutorial of yaml later on uh, it consists of multiple plays so it starts with three dashes always and then each play consists of a dash so over here we there is one play and then we have target over here which is the web server so we are targeting this play on web servers and then a playbook consists of multiple tasks each task has a name so over here we are going to run multiple tasks on our web servers and one of the tasks is or to begin with is ensure apache is in is at the latest version that's one of the tasks 
and then we'll run the commands for that task and then there is another play, another task which says write the apache config file and then we'll run the commands for that and then there is another task which says ensure apache is running and then we'll write the commands of how we'll ensure that apache is running so these are multiple tasks inside a play then we can write another play after this and which could be saying install mysql on the database servers and ensure it's up and running so basically to recap again a playbook consists of multiple plays and each play consists of multiple tasks so this is a basic idea of a playbook so this is a basic overview of one of the use cases of ansible uh, where we have a user issuing a command on the host server and then we have inventory file and then playbook or playbooks so this is a basic overview of how Ansible works.